Okay, let me point out what you're given. You're given R, L, and S. Okay, that's what you're given. But again, you're asked for a form of N again. So I, I want to point out, a lot of times when I'm going at the whiteboard, it, it looks like chicken scratch. And this is so important. And it's one of your organizational things that you want to do. All the problems in my notes, by the way, all 2,500 pages or so, they were first started on paper. And, and if you looked at my paper, it, it just, it can be very confusing sometimes. And this is why I really want to bring it to your attention that you really need to learn to either, you know, clearly delineate stuff on paper or learn to type. I actually find it easier to type things up, by the way, only after I've done the paperwork. All right? So I want to point out I'm doing here line by line. I'm just writing a formula down here. All right? So all I'm doing. What formula? The one that's given to me. All right? That's all I, w that's all I was given. All right? The next thing I did was, you know, I tried to solve for, for A. Now, that may seem odd to you, but one upon if I did that, let me write this down for you. And it, this would be my chicken scratch. I'd write down L is equal to A, R, N minus 1. And all I do is I divide both sides by R, N minus 1. R, N minus 1. And what would you get? You would get A on the right side. And on the left side, you'd actually get L, R, to the 1 minus N. All right? Let me tell you where that is. It's right over here. Let me get my eraser out. And I'm going to start erasing things I don't need anymore. I see it. Right? Yeah, it took me paper to get there. Right? I took, I took me some paper to get there. So I'm, I'm saying I'm here now. Right? I'm on that line. I feel good with that line. The next thing I would do, I'd write down the, the, the S thing, and then wherever I saw A, I don't know what A is, by the way, but I know A in terms of L, and L R, and N. I just write the S formula down. This is the S formula right over here. It's a given. And then what I do is I just pop it in. What do I pop in? The A. And what's the A? This is the A. We just derived that. That's all I did. All right? Let me get my eraser out and indicate I'm just going one step at a time. And yeah, it takes time to get there. All right, let me erase this too. Let me again outline where we are. I feel comfortable getting to this step over here. All right? Now, someone says, I don't even remember what we're doing over here. Well, I, I got to be honest with you. We need, a, we need a relationship between R, L, and S, and N. And I see it now. I actually have a relationship between R, L, S, and N, and I got to solve for S. So I'm going to take this thing over here, and this is what I would do on paper, by the way. I would write down, I don't know, S times 1 minus R equals L, R, 1 minus N minus R, L, right? I want to get that N. I'm almost there. So it's going to be S, 1 minus R, plus R, L, equals L, R, 1 minus N. So, again, in my notes, there might be more stuff written in my notes, but I realize this is a critical juncture to get out, and I got this written right over here now. Whoops, sorry about that. All right, I want to point this out. This, I just wrote down. All right? Someone says, oh, you're missing this step over here. Well, this is the step you're supposed to get through. So let me erase this now. And again, I'm looking at my night, nicely, neat, neatly typed up solutions to this thing. The next thing I would do is um, I'd rewrite this. And the way I'd write this, I'll write this down for you. S, 1 minus R, plus R, L. And I'd write this as... Let's see, L, R, because there's one R there, and R to the minus N, all right? Then I would divide both sides by L, R. What do you get? S, 1 minus R, plus R, L, over R, L, equals R to the minus N. Let me show you where this is. This is right over here. I did expand it, by the way. You know, S times 1 is S minus SR. Same thing. All right? Let me get my eraser out, and I'm pretty comfortable 
getting to that line. And again, we're hoping you're also being comf getting comfortable with this, this as well. The next thing I'll do is take the log of both sides, all right? And if you do that, I'll write this down for you. And again, I, I would do this on paper. I would say, oh, log of S minus S R plus R L minus the log of R L or L R, doesn't really matter, equals minus N times the log of R. All right? Then I would say to myself, gee, I gotta solve for, for, um, for N, so I would probably write this down. Log of S minus SR plus RL minus the log of RL, and I gotta divide both sides by N's coefficient, and this would equal N now. And what's this coefficient? Minus log of R. This looks strange to me with the negative number. So I'd multiply top and bottom by minus 1. And let's see if we get there. What do you get there? N. On bottom, what do you get? Log R. On top, you get log. Well, RL is actually just R plus log L. And then we get minus log S minus SR plus RL, all right? I want to point out where this is neatly written down for you. Log R, log L, minus the log of S minus SR plus RL over log R. Then someone says, oh, they did something different. They did. They divided through. So where do they divide through? One of the terms is divided by, by um, log R, and that's this term over here. Let me point this out to you. So this term divides into that. So what do you get? One, and then you get log L minus this thing over that thing. It worked out pretty nicely, by the way. All right? Again, take home message over here is that, you know, if you're going to write things down, there's one thing about chicken scratch. It's nice to have. And you notice a lot of, you know, people that write stuff down, it's incomprehensible at times, and then they got to type it up. Including, you know, if you're writing something that's like a letter or something, you might be jotting down some thoughts at some point, but at some point, you got to bring it together in a nice, neat fashion. Will there be things missing? Yes, there, yes, there are. There are things missing. I would love to have Wells's chicken scratch to look through it. I really would for each problem. All right, what's the problem with that? I imagine Wells's chicken scratch pretty much remained in his possession until he no longer needed it, and then it was thrown out summarily, by the way. All right, either by, you know, when he died, his family threw it out, or when he died, his office was cleared out at MIT for someone else to occupy it. And, you know, MIT is pretty careful with um, what's in someone's office, but most places they're not. It just gets dumped in the trash. It really does. And there could be some important work over here. Here's a deal, though. If it's important, I would, I would have it in um, typeset and put somewhere, stored, so other people can have access to it later on. My chicken scratch, certainly no one's going to find that important. But anyway, thank you for listening.